Now, the merger of the Hereford and Pole Hereford uh, organisations has been in place for a couple of years now. Yes. How's that working? I think it's working very, very well. We're seeing that at a board level within Herefords Australia. Uh, we have got, you know, a mix of uh, both the previous organisations on the board, but at a board level, the board's working incredibly well. Uh, there is no discussion, really, or demarcation about the pole versus the horn, the pole versus the horn, and we're seeing that even amongst our breeders here. There is a lot of breeders, as, as we're aware now, who have both have both the pole and the horn variety. So that merger, I think, has, has worked very well. We need to continue to work on that, but cold Actually, I think we've come a long way. We've had Craig Huffines, uh, your counterpart in America, uh, here in Australia, telling us about some wonderful things that are happening for the breed in America. How can they be adapted here? Look, the research that the US, our US counterpart have conducted into hybrid vigour, into heterosis, from their trial uh, of uh, Hereford and Angus bulls over, over Angus cows and the economic and financial benefits of that, that is something which is you know, critically important for our industry moving forward because we're talking about economics and we're talking about a return on investment for breeders. So communicating those economic advantages to the Angus breeders here in Australia is something we need to be able to do and do effectively. There are fantastic opportunities out of this research out of the USA which we can adopt here. There are several aspects of the beef industry that seem to be growing. Grass finishing, EU market, MSA grading. How do Herefords fit into that? Look, they all fit into the top slot on all of those attributes. We know that the EU accreditation, the MSA, the Hereford is basically purpose built for that. We know it's hard to find a superior beast anywhere for grass finishing than the Herefords. So we've got a purpose built breed and animal here to fit very neatly into all those three criteria. And again, they will be a focus of myself and the organisation moving forward to make sure people understand that the Herefords are the answer to all of those questions. You've got a new board with Herefords Australia now, 12 members. How do you see that operating? Look, from my uh, very initial exposure to the six new members of the board and knowing the six existing members, we've got a very strong board going forward. We've got an excellent mix of skills and experience and background. And we, But most importantly, I know that we've got 12 people on that board who are all very committed 100% to the future of this breed. And you're looking for a new commercial development manager. What role will that person play in the organisation? This is going to be a critical appointment for the organisation to appoint a new uh, commercial development manager. We're, uh, we're advertising at the moment to, uh, for applications for that role, which closes on the 31st of May. That person is going to have an enormous role and enormous responsibility. I know that right up front. But to, to work on the commercial sector to further promote the demand for the Hereford breed there. There have been some historical issues which people have noted for the Hereford breed in the commercial sector, but we know that those, not necessarily those issues, are those issues just really need to be focused on now and we need to get some, some hard data and some information out of the commercial sector which really pushes and promotes the breed there. We know we can, we can match it with the best in the commercial sector, but we just need to do some more work in promotion and communication within that arena.